Hey, it's me, Chelsea Lee, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. This channel is a creative space for creative people. Today, we are going to be talking a little bit about instant film photography. So I'm gonna be talking about these two cameras right here. This is the Polaroid Now Plus, and this is the Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo. This is not a sponsored video. These are my cameras that I bought with my money. I just wanted to do a review in case anybody is interested in purchasing one of these cameras and you're just like not sure what the quality is like or what, what to expect. So this is just my honest review on each of these cameras and how they compare to one another. This is just a fun hobby that I like to do. So not a professional by any means, so take this review as you will. Let's start with the Polaroid Now Plus. So I have had this for probably about a year now, and I love it. I had a Polaroid when I was little. I think it was like one of the Barbie <laughs> Polaroids. It was like pink and purple, literally with the Barbie logo on it. Do you all remember what I'm talking about? Um, so this is definitely very nostalgic. I just love the big square prints that you get with it. It's just so fun to snap a photo and have it print out instantly and just kind of waiting for it to develop. It's just a whole different level of anticipation and fun in my opinion. With the Polaroid Now Plus, it is that traditional big square print, which personally I love. So that is a big reason why I chose this camera over any other cameras when I first bought an instant uh, film camera. I also love about this camera that it comes with a phone app. So let me pull that up on my phone. You just download the Polaroid app and you can pair it with your camera. And what it allows you to do is there's a remote button. So if you want to take, you know, gr a group shot and you want to be in it, you can press this button and it pairs via Bluetooth to your camera. So you can snap a photo without being behind the lens, which is really neat. There's also a self timer function, which uh, that is great for like self portraits. Then double exposure is something that you can do. You can do that with the app or with the camera itself. Um, so I don't know that you'd necessarily need the app to do that. You can play with the aperture. There is a very cool portrait mode on here. It tells you like if the lighting is good. It also tells you the range. If you're too close or you're too far away, it tells you exactly where you need to be for the camera to be in focus for your subject, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a light painting mode. So if you want that really long exposure, want to be able to do cool things with light, you can uh, control that from the app. And then you've got your manual settings here. So the app offers a lot of really great uh, perks and stuff for you to play around with. Now I will say, as an amateur and someone who uses this camera just for fun and like snapping casual photos of friends and you know at tailgates and stuff like that, I rarely use the app. It is nice to have, it's really cool, it's got a lot of great built-in features, but I do not use it nearly as much as I thought I would. Something else that I love about the Polaroid Now Plus is it came with a kit Full of different lens filters so there's some different colored filters if you want to play around with those and there's a starburst filter so it's like a light diffusion filter at night it kind of makes the lights look like little starbursts so that's kind of cool so it came with a kit full of those um, different lens filters which can be fun to play around with but I haven't used any of those. <laughs> so maybe I just uh, don't take enough photos or whatever, but it's not something I ever really pull out, but it's nice to know that it's there as an option if you want to get more creative with your photos. I mentioned the nostalgic part of it. Um, not only does it just like look and feel nostalgic, but the prints that you get, they have that nostalgic feel. So if you're into like 
the filmy, grainy type of look. This definitely, it gives you really good quality prints, but it's still, it's a Polaroid. So um, you're going to get that very nostalgic feel from your prints, which I think is why a lot of people are loving these instant cameras. This camera also has a tripod mount on the bottom, which is fantastic for doing things like the light painting or long exposures, self portraits or group photos. It's nice to have this tripod mount if you want to use that. Now, this does have a built in flash. There is a button on the back where you can turn the flash on manually. It also will do an auto flash if it senses that uh, your subject is not lit up well enough. So that's a nice feature as well. That is all of the reasons why I love the Polaroid Now Plus. Now I will say there are a couple of cons, not many, but the number one being it is pretty bulky. I mean, it does fit in the palm of my hand, but when I got this, it, it was my intention to like kind of take it with me to tailgates and to parties and just like casual hangouts with friends and whatever. Um, you know, just something fun to have on hand outside of just using my iPhone camera. And I did buy this strap for it, which helps you can put this around your neck, but this does not easily fit into a pocket or into a purse. You definitely have to have like a larger purse for it. So for that reason, I don't use it as nearly as much as I thought I would solely because of the size. It functions fabulously. The battery, it's a rechargeable. Um, it lasts a very long time. It gives great quality prints but I just don't use it as much as I thought because of the size. Now they do make the Polaroid Go, I think it is. I'll have to look up which model it is, but they do make a smaller version of this. So maybe I should have went with that, but I was really stuck on getting the original size prints and in order to get these bigger prints, you have to have a bigger camera, which obviously makes sense. So um, I love this camera. Again, it's just not something that I have with me all of the time because it's not necessarily the most portable. Now let's talk about this little guy here. So this is the Fujifilm Instax Mini Evo, and it's part of the Instax Mini series, which is amazing. I feel like those are the most popular instant cameras right now. I see them everywhere, but I didn't buy one of those initially because again, like I said, I wanted the big prints that the traditional Polaroid gives you. And I just liked the Polaroid name. Um, but then I, as I had it longer, I realized I'm not taking this nearly as many places as I had intended to. So that is why I picked this one up. So this one you can see next to my iPhone 11, the size. It is great pocket size camera. It, it doesn't necessarily fit in like my jean pocket, but if I'm wearing a jacket, it fits in my jacket pocket. You can also attach straps and do like the neck strap with this one as well. And this fits so perfectly in a small purse or handbag or whatever. So this one is extremely portable. I find myself gravitating towards this one more just because of the size. Something else that makes this camera great is it's actually a digital camera. So it does require a memory card and it has this digital screen on the back, which might kind of deter people because it does take away a little bit from that mystery or whatever you get from snapping a Polaroid photo and not knowing what's going to come out or how it's going to turn out. This camera, you take a photo and then it saves it to the memory card and you can see it on the screen and you only print it if you want to. So it doesn't automatically shoot out the print when you snap the photo, which I think is a huge plus because it allows you to save your film and only print the photos that you actually like, the ones that turn out and the ones you want to print. So 
again, yeah, it does take away a little bit from that like traditional instant film experience, but in the long run, it's going to save you money because you're not wasting film on blank shots or, you know, shots that didn't turn out that great. We all have taken those photos on a Polaroid or an instant camera that are just terrible. And then it's like, uh, I have to throw this away. I wasted it. These, these add up guys. Like if you are new to shooting instant film, the film is not cheap. So you definitely want to get your money's worth of making sure you get a good photo and get a good print. So this is exactly what that is made for. Um, you just pull this little lever right here and it prints the photo that you want to print. So if you're into kind of like the funky different filters and effects, this camera has got a lot of those things for you too. Up here, there's a dial around the lens. If you twist this, it rotates through 10 different lens effects. So there's a double exposure option, which you can do with the Polaroid, but you can't really see exactly what you're doing with double exposure. With this, you can snap a photo and then when it's ready for double exposure, you can see the first exposure on there. So you can line up your second exposure exactly how you want to, which is really cool. So on top of the different lens effects, you can rotate this dial back here and this will change uh, the filter. There's 10 different filters. There's normal, vivid, monochrome, uh, yellow, red tint. So it's kind of fun to play around with the filters and the lens effects on this one if you're looking for something a little bit more experimental. And again, it doesn't instantly print your film. So if it doesn't work out, you can just delete it and move on. Another nice feature of this is that the since all the photos are saved with the memory card, you can actually crop and edit the photos here on the camera before you decide to print them. So you can scroll through your photos, crop them as needed, and make any small adjustments here on camera. This camera does have a built-in flash that is automatic as well as a little tripod mount for you to use for selfies, long exposure, group shots, anything like that. So um, nice to know that it has those features as well. One thing that this, uh, the Fujifilm Instax Evo has that the Polaroid Now Plus does not have is a little selfie mirror. So there you can see, it's just a small little mirror so you can kind of aim up your shot and see if you're in frame for a selfie. That is very helpful. Uh, I believe some of the other versions of the Polaroid do have that. But the Polaroid Now Plus, unfortunately, just does not have that feature, which would be really nice to have because, you know, who doesn't want to take a good selfie? <laughs> okay, something else about this camera that I have found myself using way more than I thought I would is you can actually print photos from your phone on here. So if I take a photo with my phone, I can send it to the camera and have it print out because, you know, I don't always have this on me or the battery dies or whatever. If I have a photo that I really like that I just want to print out, it's so nice to have this as a printer as well that you can just connect your phone via Bluetooth to do that. And lastly, uh, this camera does have a built-in app that you can download as well. So I do have an iPhone, so I'm not exactly sure what the apps are like for Android, but with the iPhone, you do have the option, like I said, to set up that direct printing straight from your phone. You can do remote shooting and you can even do live view shooting. So that means that you can Bluetooth it to your phone and see exactly what's in frame and hit shoot to take your photo without having to worry about whether you're in frame or not. Some of the cons for this camera or some things that I wish I could change about this camera are the size of the prints. So I mentioned I got the Polaroid originally because I just love the size of the original Polaroid print. I just feel like there's just something classic and nostalgic about it. It's a bigger photo. 
You can see here the size of the two photos and I don't think it's necessarily a negative. It's just more like personal preference. I just prefer the way that this looks, but I'm happy to take this photo, the size of this, um, just because this camera, the size of it is so portable. So another thing I will say that may or may not be a pro or a con, just depending on who you are. For me, I see it a little bit more as a con, but the photos from the Mini Evo definitely come out looking more digital and less film, which makes sense because it is a digital camera. Um, so you kind of miss out on a little bit of that nostalgic film Polaroid look when you're using the actual Polaroid. However, the, the filters and different effects in here, you can definitely play around with it to give it that more vintage -y style look. Um, but when you're printing photos like that you took on your phone or whatever the case may be, it's going to come out like you took it on your phone or like you took it with a digital camera or whatever. It's not going to automatically give it that Polaroid-ish look if you're using it as a printer. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind when you're shooting with this. I hope that makes sense. Another thing that I don't necessarily love about this is it's great that you have the ability to print photos from your phone on here, but you cannot take the photos you took here and put them onto your phone digitally unless you print. So if I took a photo that I just absolutely loved on here and let's say like I'm out of film and you know, I have to buy new film before I can print it, but I really want to post that photo on Instagram. I can't send the photo from the camera to my phone via Bluetooth. I would have to take out the SD card and you know, hook it into my phone or my computer with a converter and download it to my phone, then post it to Instagram. Whereas if I had film loaded and whatever I wanted to print it, I could click this lever, print the photo, and then in the app, it allows me to take that photo and download it to my phone. That's just, I don't, I don't know why it is that way. That's just a weird quirk. Uh, that's how they get you to buy film, right? Is you have to print it in order for it to be uploaded to your app to download to your phone. Um, but like I said, you could take that SD card out and download it that way, but that's just kind of inconvenient. Both of these cameras are so fantastic. I love how easy they are to use. They both shoot out really great photos. Um, I think it's just a matter of what kind of camera you're looking for, what you want to do with it, how serious you are. And for me, the portability is probably the biggest factor in why I would prefer one of these over the other. I, if I had to choose, I would take the mini Evo just because of its size. This is just too bulky for me to carry on an everyday basis, whereas this can just go in my purse or my pocket so easily without me having to worry or think about it. So um, you can't go wrong with either one, but if you're someone who wants to take a camera like everywhere you go and just slide it in your pocket really quickly, I would say the um, Mini Evo is the better option for that. But you absolutely can't go wrong with the classic Polaroid. I love this one. All the features in the app by far like outweigh any of the features of this one here. So if you are looking to be a little bit more creative with your shots and have a little bit more control over the manual settings and stuff, maybe the Polaroid now plus is the better camera for you. I hope that you found this video useful. If you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. I actually did get both of these cameras on Amazon, so if you're interested in purchasing one for yourself or any of the film, I will put my affiliate link with Amazon below. If you use that link, I do get a little bit of a commission, 
with anything that you buy. So I would greatly appreciate that you use that link if you are considering buying one of these. So if you have any other questions about either of these cameras, definitely let me know and I will see y'all in the next video.